Hey guys, back with another unboxing. This is a big package that, actually the biggest package from the Perth Mint that I've ever gotten. Um, sorry I haven't done a bunch of unboxings recently, I've been very busy. Also watching the uh, ups and downs in the uh, gold and silver market, kind of waiting to see when I'm going to make my next big purchase. But I kind of went all out. Uh, as you know, I like collecting certain series from the uh, Earth Mint. I'm a little worried because the FedEx box was a little, looks like it was a little damaged, a little sat on, so hopefully this is from Perth. Open this up. And uh, hopefully it's uh, packaged well enough that nothing was damaged. Sorry guys. This is the Pygmy Possum. Look at that little guy. It's probably, I gotta look it up, but I think it's like one of the smaller uh, possums in the world. And this is the fourth coin in the series. I think there's 7,500 or 8,000 coins um, total mintage for each one in the series. And this is the fourth, again, out of the eight coins in the series. So over the next two years, they'll release the final four. Um, and as you guys know that these sell out very quickly and are very collectible, um, let's take a look. Maximum gross weight. I'll have to, it doesn't say maximum mintage on here, but I'm pretty sure it's 7,500 or 8,000. Comes in the same standard box. Let me see if I can... There we go. Really cool. I think this is actually one of my favorites besides the Koala. The first one. As you guys know, I have a couple of each. I have some graded ones as well. Um, but on this, I actually did a pretty large order of these because I know that they'll sell out and over time become very collectible. Let me unpack this. Luckily, they weren't damaged. Looks like the boxes are all in good shape and I got 10 of them so now I think I have um, one koala two, uh, two wombats in their box um, I think two kangaroos in their box I have two proof 70 graded kangaroos um, one proof 70 wombat and I'll be on the lookout for a Proof 70 Koala, but it'll probably be expensive and, and hard to find. So I got 10 of these. I don't know what I'm going to do, whether I'll just wait and wait for the value to go up and sell off a few of them or just keep them all. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I think there are like 200 or something left on the Perth Mint website. So these were released not too long ago, and they're already getting gobbled up. And the way that it goes is, I think six months to a year, they usually double in value at least, depending. Um, I know if you go on Atmex and places like that, even, you know, like when they had, uh, they had a few Wombats back in stock, like three of them, and the price was like close to $300 for those. So, you know, and those were the second ones that were released in the series. So... I think it's a pretty solid bet uh, to collect these. So, um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Whether you guys think I should have bought, <laughs> bought as many as I did. 
Um, I'll, I'll probably be doing some more unboxings as time goes on, and I'll definitely be launching the next contest to subscribers. Thanks to all the new subscribers and also all the old ones that have stuck with me. You know, it's pretty hard uh, growing the subscriber base, especially in a niche thing like uh, Boolean. You know, not many people are aware of coin collecting and, and Boolean investing. So I really appreciate all the support. So uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Um, let me, I'll open this up again so you guys can take another quick look. I'm just going to put these away with my other Opal coins for now until I make a decision. You don't need to see the uh, obverse because it's the queen and uh, it's pretty much the same design. But I do like, um, if you notice on the coin, I don't know if you can make it out, but um, definitely on the box, you see those the type of plants that or vines that he's hanging on? I think those are a type of flower uh, with like the seeds on them. I'm not sure. Definitely found in Australia. But uh, I like how the environment uh, goes along with the different animals um, on the box. And I think that's a really nice touch. So uh, tell me what you guys think. Thanks.